Okay, furthering the idea of the differentials, we can use them to estimate different values of a graph that we may or may not know. And in particular, if we didn't have a calculator to use, uh, like we do these days, um, using differentials is a great way to find the estimate of what a value close to a number that we know. And what I mean by that is I'm working with the square root graph and on B we're asked to find an estimate of what the square root of 4.2 is. So I know what the square root of 4 is. The square root of 4 is 2. So what we're asked to find though is what's the square root I'm looking for this y value what's the square root of 4.2? Well, I can, I can, it's easy to notice that the change in our x is 0.2, so that's our dx is 0.2. I'll need to find what my dy is in this region up here. In order to do that, I have to take my function. y is the square root of x, which I can think of as x to the 1 half. And I can take the derivative, dy dx, take our exponent, multiply it by the coefficient, write down the, column, the x, and subtract 1 from our exponent. So that's my derivative. If I now separate my variables, I'm going to separate my differentials. So I'm going to multiply dx by both sides. It's another way to say that. Okay. Now I'm trying to estimate the square root of 4.2. Well, on my x, I'm going to put in a value that I know. I know 4, okay, that we're focusing in on a value near 4. And I'm going to have that to the negative 1 half times our differential, which is 0.2. And if I do a little computation there, I'm going to have 1 half, uh, that would be also, the second one would also be 4 to the negative 1 half is 1 over 4 to the positive 1 half, so 1 half times, well, 0.2 is the same thing as 2 tenths. So one of these twos will cancel, and I'll have 1 over 20 is what dy is. 1 over 20 is the same, uh, can be written as 0 0.05. So up, up in this region, I just found that our dy is 0 0.05. And so the value that, uh, that again, I'm looking for is the estimate of what the square root of 4.2 would be. Well, if I have, if the square root of 4 is 2, and I have a differential of 0.05, then this value, this estimate of the square root of 4.2, has to be those two added together. For our estimate is 2.2. So the overall, again, our estimate, using an approximation sign, is 2.05.